Sheep are family binding creatures. Sheep are tremendous agricultural ambassadors. Sheep are food and fiber and firefighters. Sheep are the best grazers of pastures. Sheep are fertilizers. Sheep are community builders. Sheep are the reasons why we work. We've been on this farm 12 going on 13 years. Started off with rotational grazing right from the beginning. Everything was temporary fences up, moved and reset as need be so the sheep could graze just about anywhere. We use those same principles of rotational grazing and solar grazing. It doesn't matter if they're on a site that's 20 acres or 200 acres. We get the temporary electric fence up. It contains the sheep in a paddock. When they've grazed that area appropriately, we move them onto the next paddock. But on the solar arrays, they've got large swaths of panels. They hang out in the shade whenever it's too hot, and they munch on that grass when they're just hanging out. Obviously, using sheep on solar sites reduces the need for mowing and trimming, so there's less consumption of fossil fuels. But remember, when we've got this rotational grazing, we're actually improving the soil condition and the pasture condition under these solar arrays. And by using solar grazing, we can make the land be dual purpose. It serves to generate energy and to generate food. We manage sheep and goat grazing here in Southern California for fire prevention, helping to support fire safe and fire ready communities that butt up against open spaces that are fire ecologies. Managed grazing is increasingly being used where the terrain and topography doesn't allow mechanical clearing and other types of clearing to occur. We're able to go in landscapes in very dense vegetated areas and open up space, slowing down the potential if there was a fire. Sheep are providing the beneficial disturbance that ecologies need in order to continue regenerating, especially in areas that are too weak or too steep for cattle to get to. Sheep are ruminants. They are able to take vegetation and pass it through their system. And on the back end, they're creating fertilization. Sheep are incredible. They yield food and fiber. And in our communities, they're providing fire hazard prevention and helping to manage landscapes that need restoration and to create more resilience. Well, it's kind of interesting how I got interested in regenerative agriculture. You start off needing something to grow in the summer and something to grow in the winter. And then I got interested in how the different multi species plants greatly improve the land. So I got involved in that because it's much cheaper and saw it working for me and just then started wondering why and started reading. Rotation grazing is just moving from one area to another area. Rotation kind of keeps you from hurting the soil, hurting the land, and letting your roots stay healthy. So I'm building the carbon in my area in the ground with these animals and dung beetles and insects. I'm taking that carbon and nitrogen out of the air and putting it into the ground. And that's the whole secret of that healthy soil is increasing the carbon and nitrogen. That's what these plants do. It takes it out of the atmosphere. The cover crops, I turn into a cash crop because I put sheep on it and they, they graze it, they improve it. They, they take 80% and put it back in the soil with their little droppings. I'm taking poor quality pastures, regenerative agriculture pastures, uh, low quality that human beings cannot utilize and, and turn it into a high quality protein. With proper management, rotational grazing offers the sheep industry an opportunity to achieve carbon neutrality. I started grazing my sheep in vineyards first in Colorado and now in the Willamette Valley. I wanted a production model that was natural and good for my sheep and good for the land. Our motivation for bringing sheep into the vineyards was mostly to find a holistic, sustainable approach for land management under the vines and also within our fallow grounds. Many wineries graze sheep through their vineyards to naturally clear weeds and reduce the use of herbicides. Within a single season with rotational grazing, I've observed beneficial changes to plant and soil communities. 
that are leaving behind fertilizer. We're, we're converting vegetation into manure and spreading beneficial microorganisms that are building soil and also plant health in, in the vines and in the subcanopy. We have seen benefits with grazing sheep in the vineyards through the byproducts, the, the fertilizer, the decreased use of tractors and equipment and human labor hours with management of noxious weeds. If we can replace herbicides, if we can replace tractor passes for mowing, boost plant health and, and um, immune responses to insect pests and fungal diseases, we've just made some huge strides. Carefully managed grazing is positively impacting the environment around the U.S. Any opportunity I have to reduce my hydrocarbon footprint, I'm all about that. We're able to graze where people can't graze, and we're able to graze in such a way that we're increasing soil health. A contract grazing business gives me the opportunity to raise these livestock and graze these livestock on the most diverse ecology, fully capturing the flavor and essence of Southern California, being able to offer that in my meat products. Healthy sorrel means healthy plants. Healthy plants means healthy animals. And that makes a big difference, feeding the world. <laughs>